done direct sales. So I started looking and asking questions as what do you even do? And so my initial why was kind of trying to prepare for earning a little extra money in retirement, funding travel. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of what got me started. And it was it was really all about what extra money I could make. And then I've been on three leadership trips, so fun travel for sure. Um, and then getting to travel to home office. So a lot of my travel wise and having the funds to support other travel. But fast forward six years later, my why has evolved. And like everybody, I've had up and downs in the business. And anytime I think, well, maybe this isn't the right thing for me, what I cannot leave and what has become my passion is the company's mission. Uh, the mission of giving back, the, whether it's Ronald McDonald House, which my, I know you guys are involved with, my team serves at Ronald McDonald House. Um, everything Care Council has to do with all the giving back. And my passion is not only the giving back, but the other women, yeah. the sisterhood and the other women. So when I'm having a down day and I think maybe I'll just, maybe this isn't for me, I cannot leave the company. I can't leave the friends that I've made. So um, really my passion now is helping other women get started in the business and helping them be successful at whatever level they decide is success for them because it's different for everybody. Yeah. Whatever it is they tell me they want to do, my passion is really helping them um, become successful. So it's evolved from looking for yes. the finances. And of course, the finances don't hurt. Let's be yeah. real. Yes. <laughs> um, that doesn't hurt at all. But um, really, the, the people, the company mission, that's what keeps me. That's what fuels me now. Awesome. Well, uh, I have to confess, <clears throat> I forgot to hit record, but I did. I got that whole thing. So just for those of you who are just coming or who are just watching the recording, this is Sharon. She's my friend from the Gives Care Council, and she's also the heart of her recipient from 2014. Mm -hmm. and you'll have to go in uh, under the 31 Gives tab and watch her video because it's, it's a great story that you don't want to miss. Okay, so the second question I had asked Sharon for her, because at National Conference this year, they were really getting us to get to the heart of what matters most. And so it doesn't necessarily have to be 31, but for Sharon, what matters most for you? You know, really, it's the ability to, to be able to uh, give back more. Um, the, the additional income allows me to give back more. It allows me to look at other uh, volunteer opportunities. You know, my, my son's all grown. I'm not doing dance classes, you know, for kids. I'm not doing all the kinds of things that, that a lot of people are just really need that income for kids. I'm, I'm way past all that. Yeah. So I'm looking at what really, really matters to me um, the most. And to me, it's that ability to give back. And it, some of it is, is finances, but honestly, a lot of it is just time. It's just really time. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of now looking at things that, what are some areas that really keep tugging at my heart that I want to get involved in that really matters to me? And more and more, it, I'm really looking more at the uh, human trafficking and sex trafficking and wow. because it just breaks my heart. Yeah. And so, um, so I'm, I'm kind of looking at that. So what matters most to me is, how can I remain at, at my age, because I'm like so much older than all of you, <laughs> how can I still remain relevant and give oh. back to this world? I love that. So that's really what matters the most to me. That's fantastic. Okay. So switching uh, gears a little bit now um, into kind of you as a consultant, I thought, you know, for, for my team, I think for all of us, I think their biggest battle is just booking parties. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd ask you, what is your best booking tip? Well, you know, it's kind of funny because um, I feel kind of silly saying this because we've all heard it a million times, but amazing things happened when I actually started doing it. <laughs> right. And it's so simple. It's the three contacts a day. Yeah. Honestly, it was... You know, I've got a stack of leads from vendor events. Um, I haven't always done the best follow-up from those. Um, 
the following up with guests at a party. I haven't always done the, the best with that. And so what I started doing, I just got a separate journal and I just started going through those. And I just wrote down uh, some days in a week are better than others in terms of what time I had. Right. Um, but I figure at the end of the week, if I've averaged 15 in that week, and I was amazed at the result of that, that consistency. And honestly, you'd think I'd know better. It's so basic, but I just hadn't done it really very well. And so I've really been doing that a lot more. And the result has been, you know, yes, you get a lot of no's or you can't get a hold of people. That's just the way it is. Right. But that consistency of, of aiming for that three contacts a day, whether it be text, phone, whatever method, um, that has been my best booking tip. And it's yeah. not original. Right. Now, let me ask you, because um, I know somebody's going to ask, do you consider a contact when you've actually gotten a response? No, nope. I don't. I, Just three I, contacts I really, a day. No. Awesome. Okay. No, okay. I don't. Great question. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't. Be because um, we make so many, whether you're calling people and getting voicemail and no answer, right. whether you're texting and you get more response, I think, with texting now, but right. even then it kind of goes into dead air right. um, or Facebook message, whatever way I kind of try to determine how did I meet that person and if it's uh, on a vendor sheet, they've kind of circled what's their preferred method of contact. But to me, that's, that's the contact. Okay. Because if I, if I do enough contacts, somebody will answer me. Right. Absolutely. Okay. I like that. Okay. So now I, you know, I'm always telling my girls, I would like a team full of leaders, but I know that not everybody is one sad or is ready for that. So I think sometimes I want to um, show a different side of leadership. So for you, what do you love most about being a leader? You know, in order to be a leader, I have had to help other women promote to leaders. Right. And so seeing the benefit that they get from promoting to a leader, um, it, and the leadership always is a financial benefit. It, it always is going up because your team is growing, you're getting higher percentages, um, you just are making more money. That's just the fact. But, um, and then the, the team members are making more money, but I tell you what's really, really cool is, and I'm working with a gal right now who's on a path to director and she has been up and down in her, her struggles to that Avenue. And the thing that, that just made me be so happy about being able to be a leader encouraging her is that she said, I cannot believe the difference in my confidence level in myself from when I first joined 31. Right. To me, that is, you know, and without being in leadership, being um, kind of coaching and mentoring her, I wouldn't really have that opportunity to see her growth. And I've seen such huge growth right. in her. Um, from being a really timid, lacking self-confidence. In fact, she just went to a um, one of the mega meetings in Kansas City, and I knew Andrea Dowding was going to be there. And so I said to her, I said, because this is totally outside her comfort zone, and I said, I challenge you to go up and introduce yourself to Andrea Dowding. And she's like, really? Do I have to? And I go, uh-huh, you have to. And... Um, so lo and behold, she sends me a text message with a picture of her and Andrea yes. at that meeting. So to me, that being able to be a leader and impact other women is really, really awesome. You really yeah. can make a difference in people's lives financially and who they become as women. That's awesome. I like that. Absolutely. And it's always fun to take leaders with you on trips, right? <laughs> Oh, without a doubt. Who's going on a cruise with me next year? Let's do this, ladies. Yeah. Okay, so my cool. last question, I know. My last question, um, because this is, you know, something that I want to constantly talk about with my team, and I, I don't think you have to know everything to share it, but how, how do you share um, give, your, the Gives mission at your parties? What's like your number one thing that you always do that helps people know about the gives aspect of who we are? 
Mm -hmm. So I always talk about rounding up and, and why it's beneficial. You know, I always talk about, um, you know, how much roundup has made a difference Yep. And those talking points are all in the 31 Gives section of TOT. So if you're not sure of the talking points, they're there. Awesome. And especially now with Girls Take Flight. And I find that uh, now the Girls Take Flight, it strikes a chord with, I mean, either yes. everybody personally or somebody they know and they just immediately. So I, but I always talk about rounding up and I thank them at the beginning of the party and tell them I really appreciate that when we uh, finalize your order that you round up. And if you right. don't want me to, please let me know at checkout. But otherwise, and I, I kind of just make it like that. I'm going to assume everybody wants yes. to help with this mission yes. and nobody ever says no. Yep. And um, because Absolutely. that would be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So, but I really, um, I really talk about the heart of it. And I also share with them that, you know, the mission of this company is, is so powerful to me that um, I, I'm be, just really feel now like, you know, we have all these partners that really make a difference. And by the way, I sell really cute totes and bags. Right. So for me, the gives is the message and it's, but they can see the bags. They know they're cute. They know they're, and then I kind of go with that, but I really... Uh, really focus on talking about rounding up and then what the missions are. But I do think that this uh, Girls Take Flight is garnering more emotion yeah. um, than anything. That's awesome. Well, um, you answered those questions so perfectly that we have plenty of time. I would love um, just for, because I think some of the ladies would be interested, just kind of going back to your Heart of Her Award, um, the the charity you were working with when you got chosen, it was called tip. It's called tip. And can you just kind of quickly tell them what it is you do there? Cause I think that's fascinating. Sure. It's uh, it stands for trauma intervention program. And there are about 20 other chapters around the country. We actually have two in Florida, one in Pensacola and one in Fort Myers. Wow. Um, but Portland, where I live, is the busiest and the biggest chapter in the country. And what we do is train citizens to help other citizens in crisis. So I'm actually one of the national trainers that helps train this, the citizens. And we get called out by the 911 emergency response system. And usually when somebody dies, I mean, we respond to traffic accidents and fires as well. But most of the time, it's when somebody dies, mm. and emergency responders are there with that victim, but then there's family or friends perhaps around, or maybe nobody, and so we're there, we have volunteers that are there within 20 minutes of that incident happening, and they're there until family or support system can arrive, and so police, fire, it also helps police and fire because they felt they were they just felt so bad that they had to leave somebody who was traumatized but their job is to get immediately back into service and so they could stay um and quite frankly they're not trained in emotional and practical first aid which is what we do so um which kind of is why i'm so excited about the girls take flight because we see a you know when somebody dies by suicide Suicides aren't reported in the news. Um, you know, there's some random cases where you'll see they're reported, but by and large, and we see a huge number of suicides, including kids. Wow. And, um, you know, so there's nothing worse than going to be with a family member, a mom who came home and found their 10-year-old hanging. Wow. And, you know, I mean, I'm just being blunt about it, but that's why the girls take flight is just really has me. But that's what that's what TIP does is we train people how to respond, what to say, what not to say. Right. And to support those families. Awesome. Okay, ladies. Um, before we let Miss Sharon go, does anybody have a specific question for her? She's amazing. <laughs> but her leadership. I enjoyed just listening to her. Yeah, she's awesome. 
Me too. <laughs> and like I said, if you go on to 31 Gives and you go and look at the heart of her recipients, you can find her video. It will just, it'll tear you up. It's so good. But um, yeah, I love mm -hmm. that. I love her story. And if you want to see how beautiful Oregon is, the first part of the video, the, the video team from home office, when they came, when they came for their big surprise for me, none of them, there were seven of them that came, none of them had been to Oregon. And the, the video guys just were, you know, they're video and camera guys, so they were just blown away. So they got up at five o'clock in the morning the day after the evening that they announced it and went up to Multnomah Falls, which you'll see in the video, and hiked to the top, which is a mile hike, and filmed some of the beauty that's here in Oregon. So mm -hmm. I appreciated that too. I love it. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Anybody else have a question for her? Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you, Sharon. So Thank much, you and you can go and do family stuff, or you can hang around. We're just going to talk, you know, thirty-one okay. stuff, stuff you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for inviting me. Appreciate yes. that. I loved having it, and I'm sure they're going to go and watch your video because uh, it's fantastic. So, oh, thank you so much, Tammy. I look yeah. forward to meeting you next year at conference. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, if you see me and I don't see you or something, come up and I say will. hi because. I will. Thank you. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Sharon. And uh, I'll say goodnight in case you slip away while we're talking, but okay. I appreciate you so much. Thanks. Thank right. you so much, Tammy. Okay. Um, well, guys, I was going to do, let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of screen sharing with you. Because one of the things that Susie was asking me was um, about these crazy K groups. So I want to kind of go over that with you real quick. Um, before Gina, poor Gina, y'all keep praying for her. She's just sick as can be. But before what, she, What's wrong with her? Is it gallbladder? Oh, hope, well, they think so. But ah, she's just as sick as a dog and just really a lot of pain. So um, you, her, husband is, her husband's taking good care of her. So, okay, so these K groups. All right, so... It, this is something kind of new. In the past, we've always done Ready, Set, Sell, which is right before a new catalog releases. So you might have just gone through Ready, Set, Sell with us and you earned like new products and those sort of things. Well, now they're going to be kind of spreading it out. So our K groups are broken into three month periods. So we just went through one with June, July, and August. And they basically take an average of what your sales were. So if you go back, if you've been with us and you look at June, July, and August and you add them together and you've got at least um let's see if i can find the other one where is it at that one if you've got at least what is it 1500 in sales average then that would average out to about 500 dollars a month you would be in the half k group and you're probably thinking half k group that's that is fantastic if you make the half grade group because that means you're averaging 500 dollars in sales per month. And um, if you make the fall, this is September through November, so you starting this month, if you average $500 in sales and you make that half K group by the end of November, you're going to get a chance to earn a product, a pack of catalogs, and a pen, which I love my pens. I love collecting my pens. It's like, I, I just like you know, stuff to say I've done something. I don't know. I'm like a kid. I never, I never got to do Girl Scouts. So my pens are awesome. Um, and so, you know, if that's your goal, I'm super proud of you. Go for it. Now, the next one up is the 1K group. So if you look at your three months period in September, October, November, and you average, let's say you do 800 one month, but 1200 the next month, and then 1000 the third month, as long as it's a total of 3000 or more, and that um, average is $1,000 a month, you'd make the 1K group and look at the difference in what you can earn. And if you're saying $1,000 a month, Tammy, you're crazy. You guys, that's one, two home parties a month and maybe a catalog party. That could be one good home party a month and a couple of catalog parties. You can get to $1,000 in a month very easily. I'm not going to pressure you to do this. I'm just showing you what the reward is. So if you make this 1K group, it's three products, a pack of catalogs, and some business supplies. I have no idea what this stuff is. This is all brand new. I love new incentives. I am a dangled carrot kind of a girl. How many of you like to go after stuff? 
cool. I like yeah. going after stuff. I will like knock you over for something free. I just <laughs> don't ask me why, because it can be like the goofiest silliness and I will go after it. Okay. And so the next group, let's see what the next one is, um, is the 2K group. And that would be if you average from September, October, November, a, an average of $2,000 a month, then this is all that you would earn. And then it goes up to the last group, um, which is actually the group I'm in, is the 4K group. And that's where you average at least $4,000 a month. And you're probably thinking, Tammy, you're insane. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's because I have a very big why. I have a very large school bill to pay off. So, But wherever you're at in that, you know, I want you comfortable and I want you challenged. Get excited. If you are right here, five, the $500 a month, I got this. Then I'm proud of you. And whatever you do, I'm cheering you on. Um, if, you are, if you are with us and you're a hobbyist with 31 and you're like, girl, I will just stay active, then please, that's what I want for you. But if you have this like, you know what, I'd like to step it up. What do I do? Reach out to me. Reach out to the team. Reach out to 31 today. There's so much training in there. But I'm telling you, ladies, there's a new breeze coming. There's a wind coming. People are ready for their 31 again. There was a little slope there where not as many people were shopping, not as many people were joining. But I'm telling you, people are going crazy again for their 31, and they're ready for it. So just be your biggest billboard. I'm not saying get on 30. I'm not saying get on Facebook and announce every single day that you're trying to sell 31. People don't want to be sold to. But sharing, wearing your products, having those mini catalogs. If you've got a friend who's having a baby, you know, sharing with her. If you've got a friend who's a teacher, tell her you'll do a party for her and give, you know, 10% of your commission to her as a staples card to use in her classroom. I mean, think outside the box, whatever you want to do. But people are excited about 31 all over again. So, um, you know, just give them a reason to get excited. This month's special is fantastic. People love the large utility tote. There is, I, I very rarely have met someone who's like, yeah, I've got one. I don't need any more. It's just rare. I've got 12 and I use all of them. I use them for clothes. I use them for toys. I use them for groceries. I use them for beach bags. I keep one in the car just for whatever at all times. I mean, I, everything. So they're in this inserts. I love these inserts. I can't wait to get more this month. Um, so be excited about that. And then I'm hoping that you're coming to the team retreat. I keep knocking that one. I really, I think everybody on tonight's call is actually coming. I think I'm almost positive. So you guys are awesome. You're like the stars of the show. Um, and I know Shelby's got a big vendor event that weekend, which I'm proud of her. Cause if you're working, that's great. Um, but I do hope that you can, even if you just stop by for one, one night, that's fine with me. I just, I'm going to try to come Friday. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. So I'm just, it's just going to be us as a team doing some fun stuff, some training, getting to know each other. I'm trying to put together a service project and I, I don't tell anybody what's going on because I kind of keep it a surprise. Um, but hopefully you can join us with that. So I hope you enjoyed Sharon. She's like seriously my hero, y'all. She's just amazing. And you know, whenever somebody's like, I'm too busy to be a leader, I'm too busy to grow my business. I'm like, talk to Sharon. She's all about what it means to be busy. That woman gives hours and hours and hours of her life in volunteering every week to help these people. Um, she's just, she was a perfect heart of her award and she's just this little tiny woman and you're going to love her when you get to meet her at national conference. She's just the sweetest thing. So, May I ask a question? Yeah. So the new, what is it? The K club or whatever that Acres? started. Uh -huh. Okay, so even though it's just starting, does my June, July, and August count or yeah, no? Yeah, you probably made you probably made either the half K or the one K group. I don't know which one you made. But yeah, you'll be in a group. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if it was starting in September, October, November. Well, you're. You know what I mean. You will like, start. You will be in a group, but now September, October, November, you're you're working toward the next group. Which right. is the one, right. So okay. you're always in a group and earning another group. So it's like constantly going. They started this a couple of years ago and um, I was like, I don't get it. Why are we doing this? And now I can't imagine life without them because I love the way that they train us and help us and everything. When do we get notified to what group we are in? When do I get that little thing that you got? Oh, that was for, that you get it toward, you usually get the pen toward the end of the, the group. So, um, Oh, you, should get okay. notified. you should get notified here by an email in a 
about a week or so, which if you okay. make a group. Well, like I said, just look at your sales for the last three months. Yeah, I just like things to be official. I know. I know, so do I. I, I, like, I want the certificate that you held up. I know. I hear you. Yes. It's, it's not good. I know. I like stuff. I like to pin stuff on me, and I just stick them on my wall. And my office is like a 31 crazy woman cat lady, but it's all 31 stuff. Um, all right. So do you guys have any other questions for me? Cause it really was about Sharon tonight and you know, uh, the challenge for that large utility to get on that special, have fun with it. I don't know what I'm giving away this month. Maybe I'll bring something from the Dominican to give away in my drawing. We'll see. Rum. <laughs> Rum. No girl, let me tell you, trying to get through customs with that stuff. No way. Oh, come no. on. No. I go back tequila from Mexico. No. There was a bunch of people who, they, oh man, they're so shady at the airport. No, mm -mm. they were buying it and then it was being confiscated. Oh, Everybody's was being confiscated. It was like, mm -hmm, party in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way. Okay. okay. All right, guys, I've kept, I try not to let meetings go past 30 minutes. So that's it. If you guys um, need anything, let me know. I will be available occasionally this week mostly just on Facebook but then starting on the 12th I will have like I go dark because there's nothing in the Dominican so like I think the only thing I'll be able to do is like when I'm in my room and hooked to Wi-Fi we'll be able to get Facebook messages but my phone will be off it'll be on airplane mode good for you so, yeah well other than uh, that's because in the Dominican like every minute you're on the phone is like five dollars well I know but you deserve to be oh, yeah checked out everybody's like it might rain the whole time we're there i'm like i don't care it's I was, not florida I rain it's in the Dominican rain republic rain <laughs> i don't care <laughs> all right ladies so um i'll leave you with this starting in october even if you're not a director you could literally qualify as a director and start earning the next trip with me so i'd like to see some of you on the cruise with me next fall so um get on it Get you Veronica. Veronica. Word. <laughs> Look right. at those teeth. She's beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, ladies. I can see some numbers. I, so I can see Celeste and April and Dana. Dana's got her muted. Susie, Veronica, Shelby. And I don't know who the phone numbers are, but hi, phone numbers 561 30. Hi, Tanny. Stephanie. Oh, hey, Stephanie. Oh, oh Stephanie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotcha. Well, I'm glad you're on here. Yeah. Oh, Steph, I should have recognized that number. I know. I'm terrible about numbers. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lady. Okay. okay well, you. we appreciate you. And if you think of any questions for me, you can obviously post or message. And I can, I can still see Facebook, so it's fine. Love you, ladies. Okay. Have All a right. fantastic Bye. night. There you are. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>